Hello everyone, welcome back to Fire Rescue. Today we will be responding to a variety of calls here on the Mills County map. We'll be heading over to the fire station this morning in our 2016 Chevy 1500. Let's take a quick overview here before we head on out. This is a crew cab with the 5.5 foot bed, the 6.2 liter V8, and it's fully equipped here with emergency lights. As the Silverado warms up here, let's take a quick look at all of them. We have a big light bar up top here, lights in the grill, in the windshield, and all over. And I will have to say, coming up uh, in the rearview mirrors of uh, many cars, this thing is very bright with all the lights. I'm really excited to be back here with a Fire Rescue series over the last few weeks. You guys have been requesting it quite a lot and it's been a long time. Today we will be responding to lots of calls from fire related to medic calls. This 2016 Silverado is actually a chief truck here, which is pretty cool. We use it to respond to the station or even sometimes uh, directly to the call when we are back at the house. And this is one awesome truck here. Really do like all the emergency lights here on it. If you do end up enjoying today's video, please drop a like. It's much appreciated here as it helps out with the YouTube algorithm and it lets me know you want to see more. Now on these hot, beautiful summer days here, we do bring everything out of the station. We have Medic 1, we have uh, Engine 1, the Hook and Ladder, and also the uh, special uh, Fire Rescue Vehicle, which is also Hazmat here. So pretty cool a uh, fleet of fire equipment. And we are just now having call come over radio for someone that broke their leg at the basketball court here in town. Let's hop here in the ambulance and head on out. Now we will only be using the siren here at intersections to help out, that way it's not too loud because it is pretty loud. Usually fire vehicles and emergency vehicles have really loud sirens. Now we always do have to stop here, we can't really be blown through intersections, even though we have the lights on, uh, we do have to make sure we are safe here, and it is always tricky, but uh, we really have to get here, especially with medical calls, uh, we have to make sure we could get uh, medical attention to the person, and with a broken leg, that possibly is not going to be the best here, but let me know down below guys if you have any injuries uh, before here, so it looks like we are on the main road here, we got the back doors open, let's get the stretcher, and let's uh, go over to him now, I'm trying to be as realistic, kind of role playing it, the best we can awesome we got the stretcher we'll put him on let's roll him back on over we'll keep rolling him and there he goes we got him here in the ambulance we'll run a uh, lights and then the sirens at the intersection uh, to the hospital now I am trying to just mix up the type of content we are doing here. It is always tricky uh, with the fire rescue series. I'm trying to do it here in Farm Sim, even though uh, it's a uh, Farm Sim. But overall, I've been doing a pretty good job here at it. We uh, wow, we are really moving. There looks to be not too much traffic out on the road. We really have to get up on the brakes here for these main uh, intersections, especially the main roads. Now this is one pretty cool ambulance here, I actually really want to build a uh, 2020 uh, Ford F450 ambulance, I think that would be pretty cool and completely redo all the graphics here, but let's get uh, the ambulance backed up here to the door, and this will be a little trick, it looks like we are having a little bit of a gravity glitch, uh, sometimes you guys can see we do have this problem here, but we'll get the patient unloaded and we'll catch you back as we're leaving. And would you look at that, guys, that first call there is complete. We were able to bring uh, the individual over here to the hospital and to the doctors. I'm not exactly sure uh, what's happening here, but I have been noticing that a few of the emergency vehicles and just a lot of trucks lately have been doing the uh, gravity where you have to kind of rebuy the vehicle once or twice, which is pretty funny. Now, I will have a farming series up. I'm thinking I will do the uh, farming series kind of once every weekend. I think that will be a pretty cool thing, so stay tuned for that. It was going to be later today today but I moved it uh, to the weekend really gonna be pretty cool to get the farm up and running finally after buying it but we made it back here to the station here usually we do try to wash everything but I think we'll probably do that towards the end of the shift here but you guys can see uh, M1 the ambulance did a great job here for our first call we'll wait around here for the next one We've just received a call here for a lawnmower on fire. We're rushing out of the door here and we'll be taking the ladder truck since it's pretty close uh, to a house here and uh, we do have to be prepared uh, for all situations. Let's get the lights and sirens going here on this big one and this uh, gets a, a lot of usage. It has so many tools needed and it goes out on almost I would say every call here. So we'll head on over and we'll get going with the sirens. 
I really do like this ladder truck here. It's one pretty cool truck, one really big one as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Some pretty cool camera views as well. But we are just going here. I don't really see much traffic, uh, so I really don't want to just kind of be blaring the sirens here. But there we go. I could actually see the fire. Wow, that's a little bit bigger than what I was even thinking it was going to be here. Now, one of the best things about this ladder truck here is that we do have a fully functioning hose system on it. There we go. We got the fire hose. We are bringing it out here. Let's go in here. Let's see if we can put the fire out. Now, if you guys have not already, I do recommend you go give me a follow over on Instagram. I do post every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. So what I'm thinking is we are going to have to kind of lift open this hood here, put a little bit more water on it. Uh, that's going to be a bit tricky here, but I will keep at it. It looks like I will actually wet down the grass, wet down a little bit of this just to make sure the fire doesn't spread. And oh, look at that. We have a tree above. Wow. Luckily, it didn't catch the tree here on fire. Wow. A bit of a tricky one here for us, but we'll keep at it. And would you look at that, guys. The uh, fire is now out here. Let's put all of the hose back here. But I really do like this. Look at that. We do actually have an electronic gauge over there. We have the uh, hose there and a little bit of the hose there, which is pretty cool. But look at that, guys. This lawn tractor here looks to be a somewhat older case. Uh, just one up in flames here. Now, the uh, owner was saying it must have been an electrical problem. Those aren't always the best here. But we got this call done, which is good. Sometimes we just run into quite a lot of uh, fires on some days and sometimes it's a slow day here for us but let's hop back here in the ladder i really do like this this is just so uh, so cool of a vehicle look at that so many cool lights all the way around let me know down below in the comments, guys, what is your favorite fire vehicle uh, that you guys have seen on the road? I have seen a few. They are really loud with all the sirens and everything as they're going uh, to the calls, which is pretty cool. Now, if you do have any cool ideas here for the Fire Rescue series, please let me know. Even though it's a game, I really want to try my best to make this the best possible we can do here for Farm Sim. And wow, when we have thousands of gallons of water here on this truck, it's just really hard to break here. But we are back here at the station, which is awesome. And we are probably going to have to wait around for another call or two before the shift ends. And I will have to say, we have some pretty cool fire equipment, but it would always be nice to get some new uh, trucks, some new toys is the best way to put so we'll wait here for a call and just uh, see what happens engine one ladder one rescue one please respond to a fully engulfed fire let's hop here first in the fire engine and head on over now i do get lots of requests to respond to calls with multiple uh, fire vehicles so we'll be taking all three of the big ones from the station now this uh, does seem to be a pretty big call here fully engulfed house in flames Oh, that is one pretty sweet siren here on it. Really do like uh, some of the sirens here. And this is a nice older fire engine, but it still works. It still gets the job done of putting out the fires. And I can see the fire here from the distance. That's one pretty big call uh, that we have going. We might have to call on other towns to come over and help. And here we are. So we have arrived here and we'll wait for the other trucks. Ladder 1 is now responding from the main station. This will be really helpful here to get up in the air and put water up on the fire. This ladder truck here is really helpful. We'll be able to do so much with it and it does have lots of extra hoses. Now I really do like these tower trucks, they're so so cool to have here in the game and it's pretty unique that uh, this one is like this. So we'll get this set up here and then we have to uh, wait on a uh, rescue one to arrive. But let's get this up here in the air, put the stabilizers down and I think local uh, police will be coming to help out uh, with uh, traffic control here. But let's get this going as quick as we can, put this up in the air so we could get uh, water on the fire. And let's see if we can fully extend this out, perfect, right up and over, awesome, look at that. Rescue 1 is now responding to house fully engulfed here in flames, and we are calling on other towns to now help out. Now with a fire rescue series, I am trying to do a pretty cool mixture of house fires, somatic calls, two equipment fires, and everything in between. And definitely we'll be mixing in some kind of farm stuff as well, which should be pretty cool here. But this is one pretty cool vehicle. This has so much extra hoses, and we definitely will need them here as we'll be having to use multiple, multiple fire hydrants to help out here. But we can see these flames for uh, lots, lots of uh, distance away, which is not a good thing here. But let's get the fire hoses going now. Everything's here, and let's get going on putting out the fire 
We got the fire hose here. Let's climb all the way up the ladder. And we'll, we should be able to go here. Perfect. Climbing all the way up here. Lots and lots of distance to make up. And here we go. So we're up here in there. We got people down below. And this will be a pretty long fire to put out. We keep going at this, guys. We are making a little bit of headway here, but the flames are really intense, and it's uh, going to be a long, long one for us. And would you look at that? After three and a half hours here of putting out the fire, we are now complete here with it. We're going to be here for a little bit longer just to make sure uh, it doesn't kind of reignite here. Lots and lots of work uh, we'll be having, and more than likely this uh, house will have to be taken down. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's fire rescue video, getting to respond to three different calls. A medical call, a lawnmower on fire, and a house full engulfed here in flames. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next one, and subscribe for more.